Hi, so now while we were trying to open a product, we might get this error category matching query does not exist, and this happened because of category that objects that get. So actually, there is a better way to retrieve only one object using objects that get. There is something very good. So we're gonna say the Django get object or 404. This is actually a good shortcut for from Django to retrieve or not so we're gonna import it from Django to chart to on board get object of 404 so let's move down here yeah, this is it so we're gonna import it from Django to chart to on board object of 404 get object of 404 so here in our views we can import this and we're gonna use it instead of get so let's move down now we're getting only one one sub one one category so like this so now we're getting only one category, so we're not going to use this, so I'm going to remove this, and this, and here we're going to say get object 404 for category and the slug equal to category slug, and let's move down, so here, on the product detail, we're also getting only one product, so we're going to remove this, and we're going to add get object 404 for product and slug equal to slug and let's save this so now if we open our page and do if we refresh so let's make sure our server is running so now if we try to refresh page not found, iPhone 6 is not fast because new category matches the given query so this is the detail page so let's open detail so we're This is the detail page. Why we are getting this new category match with the given query? What is this category actually? Sorry, we need to add. So let's save this and let's move back to our project. So, so we're getting this error and we need to fix it actually no category match at the given query so so let's on all the products so let's hit, let's open MacBook Pro so we're getting the same error so okay we're gonna do something else we're gonna go back and use the old one yeah and I'm gonna open the tail to see where it, the error is Okay, same that we need to receive this Chrome cache, MIT cache and hard reload. Okay, so Yeah, 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 I know now. So now this is happening actually because we have URL. Both of them are getting the slug and now when we try to open the detail, this opens the, this iPhone 6 to this category slug and the list, the product list try to, to convert to this or to browse to this. So now we've got an error and we need to fix it actually. So we've got, we need to fix this. 
so we need to add something else so so we can add like detail something like this and this should fix the data actually so now if we open iPhone 6 so now we can see product slash detail slash iPhone 6 so we can see iPhone 6 and if we want to take a look at any one of those categories we did not activate this link yet no no this is also the, is not activated here so we're gonna do it in the product list so we have this your product list and in the detail so we're gonna search for all ads and for index so now let's refresh so now if we press on all ads we can see that we move to products so this error happened because we there were two urls giving the same thing slug and when you give the slug for detail this generic list takes us product list so we fixed it using another word detail slash in the detail in the, the in the detail in url to help django identify between the two urls so now this detail slash for detail and this slug category slug both for or a product list so now everything is working fine and we've almost done everything we also need on the one thing so now search filtering everything is working and we need also to add the post free ad we need to add the account and we need also to add the home and now and when we finish this we are being done from our project and hope you like this this course if you have any questions leave it in the in the question section and do not forget to share your feedback and rating with me this helps me more and i wanted to, to tell you that this course has part two and in part two we're going to talk about translation we're going to make you know, this course with two languages and we're going to also use ajax for search and so on and we're going to also uh, build a full rest ui with security permissions and authentication and so on for the whole project and we're going to even document this rest ever so now everything's working fine we just need to add the user accounts and add the post free ad and we're gonna do this but in the next lecture so see you next lecture